initial there, there, right there, and sign and date there. You need a minute? Yeah, sorry. It's a big deal, you know? Your whole life is changing. Yeah. I'm sorry, is the gravity of the situation lost on you? No, not at all. It's just that I literally do this every day, sometimes twice. Do prostitutes ever have real orgasms? I wouldn't know. Sure. Congratulations, you just bought yourself a house. Does my roommate talk to you at all? No. I don't know what he's gonna do. He's gotta do something. He has to move somewhere. It's normal. People just don't like to give up where they live. It's normal? For children. He's not a child. Well, I guess he needs to grow up then. What do you think I should do? It's not your problem. You took care of yourself. Now he needs to do the same. I did it. Bought the house. Which room do I get? You're not gonna live there. I know that. I'm not a damn idiot. How long are you gonna be mad at me? I don't know. A while. Forever. I'm sorry. Thanks for breaking up the band, Yoko. Okay, I can't be Yoko in this analogy. Right, Yoko Ono was an outside force that came in and disrupted the harmony of something that already existed. I'm not Yoko. If anything, I'm John and you're Paul. Okay, I'll be Paul, but you don't get to be John. You're not even Ringo. You're Pete. That's who you are. You're Pete Best. Fine. Is there a Yoko? No. But I'm not gonna wait around for one to show up. Look. We're not getting any younger, Vincent. We can't do this anymore. We can't live like college students. I might want to get married. You might want to get married. You might want to have a kid. What's that supposed to mean? It means what it means. You might want to be a dad someday. Do you really want to live with me when you're doing that? Do you think I'd make a good dad? I don't know. No. No, I do know. Yeah. Yeah, I do think you'd make a good dad. How do you know? Because you don't really hate anything. You can be obnoxious and kind of selfish, but it's only because you love life so much. So yeah. Yeah, you should totally be a dad. Wow. Thanks.
still mad at you, though. I know. But it's time. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Mom. What's wrong? Everything. I'm going to be all alone. You're not alone, honey. You'll always have me. Can I come home? Can I come live with you? Why would you want to do that? I don't know. <sighs> I don't know anything anymore, Mom. I'm scared. I'm not ready to grow up. Nobody ever is. We just do. Did you ever forgive Dad? I don't know. I, I know it's easier. Did you? I think I understand what was going on now. He was still wrong. But I understand. You can stay with me for a while. I love you, Mom. I love you too, baby. That's it. That's the last of it. Okay, then. Come on, Vincent. I, I can't leave if you're mad at me. <sighs> Could have fooled me. This is not how I want to say goodbye. You didn't say goodbye the last time. You just walked out and left. Didn't even leave a note. I'm sorry. Really? What do you always tell me when I say I'm sorry? If you're really sorry, change the behavior. What do you want me to do? Don't leave. Don't be so eager to leave me behind. You're my best friend. You're my own friend. You're gonna leave me all alone. We're still friends. We're just not going to live in the same house. Well, sure, we'll see each other around, but you'll go your way, I'll go mine. This, this is over. You don't even care. I do care, okay? You annoyed me and irritate me on a daily basis. <laughs> and coming back here wasn't easy. Damn it, I missed you. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. But I love you. And I'll still miss you. Because believe it or not, I had the time of my life hanging out with you and getting into trouble. I came back so I could say goodbye. I'll miss you too. You'll be okay. How do you know? I don't know. That's the fun of life, isn't it? Not knowing what's gonna happen next. Don't take this the wrong way, but I love you. 
I take it to mean that you're gay and you want me? This time I left a note. I don't want to go. Hey, Red, wake up. I just had the most messed up dream. I was this ridiculous blue Canadian with a beret. And I lived with this really uptight dude. Sometimes the point of view shifted to him. One Christmas, I shot him. And another Christmas, I was visited by three or four ghosts. And... We had this psycho girlfriend who tried to kill both of us multiple times. And I'm pretty sure I had a porn and hooker fetish. Also, time travel. So yeah, messed up dream. <laughs> Unless this is the dream. already tell you to leave? Okay, I'm going. Oh, could I get cab fare? No. Call me an Uber? Get out! Brunch tomorrow? Yeah, okay. 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 <laughs>